meeting for September 20th. Ask if you please rise and pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. I will entertain a motion to ratify the expense warrant for 9-1, approve the withholding warrant for 8-16, approve the payroll warrant for 9-13, and approve the expense warrant for 9-12. I make a motion. I'll second. Any discussion? Any not all in favor? Aye. Aye. I entertain a motion to approve Board Selectman's minutes for 5-16 regular, 5-16 executive, and 5-23. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Any not all in favor? Aye. I uh, entertain a motion to acknowledge reports from the Cultural Council for 8-1. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Announcements. Volunteers are needed to serve on several town committees, including the Advisory Committee, Local Public Access Committee, Conservation Commission. The letter of interest should be submitted to the Board of Selectmen, since 6 Central Street, Brookfield, Mass, 01506, or email selectmen at brookfieldma.us, or simply call the town hall. 508-867-2930, extension 10. Mr. Wallen, District Aide to Senator Ann Goby, will be holding office hours at Brookfield Town Hall from 11 a.m. to noon, Wednesday, September 21st. All welcome. Any other announcements? Yeah, uh, back to announcements. Rudy's feeling uncomfortable going back on, onto the WRTA position, and Sherry McCarty has been covering for that for, for the last few months, but they've changed the meeting time, so because they've changed the meeting time, that conflicts with her work, so therefore she can't do it. So one or other, but she'll keep cover the best she can between now and the time of someone being identified, but we do need the WRTA representative. Has Mr. Heller sent a letter of resignation? I didn't. I just went on the street, so I'll, I'll ask. Oh, yes. Yes, he did. He did. A long time ago. Yeah. yeah. We didn't yeah. accept it. I don't think we accepted it. I'm not sure if you guys accepted it, but I think when he said it, he it wasn't very firm. It, was, it, wasn't, yeah. it wasn't a resignation, it was just. Well, people haven't formed it up. Yeah. I was just hoping yourself would get better and you would withdraw the same amount of. You know, yeah. Do you feel like that? Anybody wish to address the board this evening? Welcome, sir. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, get this damn chair. I put it down on purpose. Oh, I hate it. We're, we're, how are we looking on our tax titles? I spoke to her and she said she can only do so much because she's busy. But I mean, are we going to. When are we going to. The treasurer, Sandy. Yeah. Last time I spoke with her, we were in a good position. We've got stuff moving, I, I know that. When are we, yeah, but we keep saying this year after year, but when are we going to get to she, tuition on getting some of these she, properties she gone? She told me everything that was needed to send over to KMP was sacked, and she was working on, on uh, deals with other individuals. What's the time frame? Do we have a time frame? Well, unfortunately, what you end up with is with the courts. When you get the stuff to the courts, you deal with like a year. That's at least my understanding and learning. So we got to wait a year yeah. just in case somebody wants to pay off or whatever they got to do. But they give them a grace period, I think. I think it's so, called. But yeah, once, I mean, she gave us a, a, a list of, I want to say, well, eight properties. Uh, all the stuff had gone either to the court or it's coming back to us to answer questions. And the, they were the high rollers. As far as the right, right. Unless, I, you know, I, unless you know something different, everything's in the works. Okay. Unless I mean, I just, I just, I'm mean, just someone at a couple people there, on the committee and the advisor want me to ask, so I'm asking. I mean, we keep going year after year, so I just want I to see a, if we're continuously moving this. A month ago, two or three people stepped up. They're on payment plans, and yeah. the rest are over to KP. I, I know one that came in this this last week, which was a big chunk. So I mean, people are paying attention. I do know that. I'm speaking more on the yeah, the title stuff, the old stuff, yeah, the dead stuff. Yeah. All right, all right. So anyway, it's being worked on still. What are we doing on the double poles in town? Telephone poles. I forgot to tell you when I spoke with you the last time. Can you reach out to the um, the Verizon or whoever's doing it for the tenth time? If that doesn't work, if you don't get anywhere, contact. Um, and I literally have just been thinking about this all week, so thank you for reminding me. Uh, contact Representative Brethren's office. We seem to have luck with getting the poll removed from. We've 
ever since ever, work since, ever since ever since I've been on this board, every single year I've had a discussion to get rid of the poles. They well, they're adding them more and more. They've been literally up for years. It's yep. it's unacceptable in my mind. But we keep getting run around. Um, getting back to the tax title here, what is happening with the? Did we take ownership of the old rolling skate rink on North Pond that belonged to the campground, correct? It's part of the 16 or so properties that are part of the campground. But didn't we take that when we took the campground? That was part of the yeah. campground. There's only two properties that are not that property. The, the campground property is part of me for interrupting. Um, you interrupted, it was you. The, uh, the properties that are behind the road, behind Pine Lane, plus the, the roller rink. Our that's what I'm, uh, that's that, what I'm referring that, that's to. That's part, when I'm talking about the campground and what I'm working on, I'm working on that. Separate from that, those properties, and I want to say it's, I guess, 16 on the brain, David, and that may be plus or minus. But there are two other properties, Bab and one other, that uh, are in the process. So that when we finally have the campground defined totally, it will be another two properties that aren't part of the deal at the moment. <coughs> And that's the roller. That's the roller rink, including right? the roller rink. Exactly. We already, I believe, we already own the roller rink. Yes, yes. These oh. two. The ones he's talking about are two separate parcels. They're adjacent parcels. One is on the other side of Pine Lane. As you turn to Pine Lane on the left-hand side, it's like a triangle. I don't think I have my folder. To yeah, me. I know. Okay. That triangle piece. is still outstanding. And then uh, there's another piece just on the other side of the road that's that's still outstanding. And it was a woman's name. I, it was bad, okay, so we, bad on one side and the other side. Right, so we did take ownership of that the, roller rink right then. Oh yeah, that's okay. part of part of the, the effort that we had. Speaking of priorities on tax title or, or delinquent uh, stuff that's in arrears, both the campground and Finney's were the number one, number two. And that's why we've taken the actions that we've taken to pursue in both cases. And we do have an update on that. What are we, what are we proposing for the roller rink? Account. Okay, so we're, what we have, Nick, uh, I was going to, later on in the meeting, we can talk about it, but we have a meeting with Mass Historical. You can bring it up now. For yep. Um, so, just for dates, just so that you know, Mass Historical, the, the uh, person that's related to the campground and the Adena site, will be here in Town Hall on the 28th at 11 a.m. And Karen, would you do me a favor? Could you post that for me? Because it may be a balance of different committees that are in the room if they wish to join us. So what, what that did, David, uh, the, the 17,000 that we passed to town meeting and the 17,000 that they're kicking in, what right. we're trying to do is define the scope because where we are at the moment is the Pueblo clan, the, the uh, Indians, do not want any digging. What well, you need to right? That's what I want. Mass Historical doesn't, does not believe in that technology, so part of our discussions next week will be that we want to use a geo geophysical, it's basically ground source plus electronic plus magnetism. We won't have any metals, but that, that's how you define where things are. So we're, we're going to be, there's a couple things happening. We're, our, we're going to argue that we want that, to, because we have 15 acres and it's going to cost a ton of money if you're going to do pits. Further, and that's what they want. They want to do the archaeology pits and flip it around. The Indians don't want anything to do with digging at that site. So we've that's got understandable. To, we got to settle that. So again, I would like to <clears throat> recommend technology, and I think we can do something with technology. Okay. Now that you brought the mass historical up, I got one more question. Did you guys look into can we do something with the bathrooms without? Do we have to go through them? Speaking of, yes, we do. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. So, the second so. meeting finally that's gotten organized is Mass Historical will be here. Uh, Paul Holtz, a different person of Mass Historical, will right. be here on the 29th at 2 p.m. And what we're going to be talking there is, and just so we're clear on roles and responsibilities, I, I want to be totally I, clear. I read emails. All right, so, so, so we have a coordinator of activities that are to do with the town hall, respected. Further, Bill Simpson was identified as the local project coordinator for the initial work that paid for the study. So Bill will be joining me at a minimum to meet with Paul Holtz, where what we want to do is to show him the document. You have the document, am I correct, Karen? The, the study? Yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's, it's in the office. office. And what we're looking to do is review the phase one with him 
to have him validate that in fact it's a what we're doing in under phase one would be a minor change to the town hall so that we don't have any special permitting or requiring of special permits. Okay. And, so and that's that's putting the bathroom in whatever else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yep. And then putting yeah. walls up and then okay, so he's no, gonna give it you there's no walls, it's just literally well, we might have to put a wall in over there the, in the kitchen. Yeah. If they want to move over to the wall. Okay. All right, very good. Well that's next week. Right. Busy week next week. So they're gonna be here twice? There's two different individuals. Well, on the 28th, we're actually going to have the executive officer of the Indian Affairs that it will actually right, be Right, that's for the campground, right? Yep. Like you, so yep. right, like you yep. were just saying. Okay. Yeah, so Ed Bell is the representative on the 28th, and Paul Holtz is the representative on the 28th. Paul's going to be for the town hall. That's okay. correct. All right, thanks. Thank you. Anybody else wants to address the board this evening? On to item number one trees. A lot's happened in the past week. Um, Mr. Stenger, would you like to come on up? Welcome, sir. Thank you. Good evening, all. So first and foremost, um, we received a couple of emails today. Um, if you remember correctly, we spoke about times really flying. It was probably a couple months ago in, in um, regards to an RQ. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Stenger has drawn that up, but with things happening, um, I'm going to kind of table that for right now. Um, there has been a request from Mr. Chafee to be reappointed as a tree warden. Uh, Mr. Stendrup and I spoke today. Uh, we agree that it's probably a good path, and with regret, Mr. Stendrup has submitted his letter of resignation. So I will entertain a motion to accept with regret. I'll make that motion. I will second. Any discussion? You know, all in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you for your service. You're most welcome. Thank you. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this over. So I will now entertain a motion to appoint Mr. Chafee as the tree warden. I'll make that motion. I will second. Any discussion? Hearing you know, none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. I will forward this RFQ over to the tree warden uh, for his review. Yep. yep. Um, we well, can address it because what's happened as well is that Mr. Chafee, uh, in the desire with everybody to work with the town to save money, has reached out to another contractor who's willing to work with the town, um, which I, th I think is a good thing. So that might be irrelevant. So he can look at that. So we're moving forward with those. Yeah. But Mr. Strandup has put together a, um, and he's spoken about a grant proposal. So the floor is yours in regards to that grant. So. Do you have this? Yes, I do. Uh, much appreciated. It's a great idea. Sure. Uh, so moving forward, and with my, my interest in the, continued interest in the trees in the town, uh, each year the uh, Department of Conservation and Recreation issues challenge grants, and there are two municipalities, 501c3 organizations. They're matching grants. They're 50-50 matching grants. And in the past, the uh, Brookfield Cemetery Commission has received about $10,000 to do an inventory. Uh, I don't know whatever happened to that inventory, where it is, if it's paper, if it's electronic, uh, but that's a question I think that the, the state would probably ask of the town uh, before they move forward with any request for more money to do inventory and assessment. The purpose of the inventory and assessment is to develop a management plan for the town and a preparedness plan. And the point being that any federal funding, future federal funding, could well be hinged on whether a town has a management plan for its tree assets. And those towns that do have those management plans are going to be in the best position to uh, you know, get that funding for that federal funding. Um, I don't know if anyone's aware of the, the, uh, the EAB uh, epidemic that swept through the Midwest. Now we've discovered it in Worcester County, Massachusetts. And uh, what's happening is the ash trees are just falling apart. They're, 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 uh, you know, they're, they're, they're succumbing to this insect. The insect is, is sweeping through and um, it's very costly to remove the trees or treat the trees, you know, and, and a lot of municipalities have opted to, uh, you know, do a combination of treatment and, and removals, uh, prioritizing the removals of, of the uh, trees that are in decline and then wanting to maintain some specimen trees. 
So the, the purpose of this, uh, of the grant that I've applied for is to, first of all, uh, establish what our tree inventory is uh, in priority areas. I don't believe we could effectively do an entire inventory of all town-owned property uh, given the amount of money that it would take to do that. These matching grants are up to $30,000. So if we were to request 15,000, then we could you know, see a match for uh, uh, 15,000 as well from the town. That being said, I went ahead and put down a preliminary number of $10,000, $5,000 from the town, $5,000 from the, the state. Uh, and to move forward with that, uh, after the, the letter of intent is issued to the state, they will then reach out to the town. Uh, as I have tendered my resignation, the agent responsible for that would be the acting tree warden. I'd be happy to act as a, a consulting arborist and be reached out to by anyone in that position or the town if, if they, they felt it necessary to move forward with that grant and that opportunity. So that's, that's so where we're at. Do we need an article on the special town meeting? Um, that's up for discussion because my, my understanding is that that matching fund can be in kind, uh, meaning that there, there may be uh, some matching assets which are not actually monetary. Uh, assets can be matched in... in like in, a citizen that wants to go around... Sorry? Like a citizen that wants to go around. Exactly. And, and you can accumulate those hours, and then you can also put forward, uh, you know, the possibility of software if that's put up by, uh, you know, a town or, or, or by, you know. And we can take, a, take advantage of the work that we were doing as far as the prioritization. It's just a matter of where you know, are we talking scenic way and, mm -hmm. you know, that sort of thing. Sure. Yeah. Or a citizen that's sitting before us. Exactly. And I don't think you got the point, so I'll be a little bit more aggressive. All right. You sometimes need to be a little more blunt with me. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and no, <laughs> no, I just, where I would, I would be is that these, these things, you get them out there, the first time they really reject you, the second time they like you, so it's, you right. know, it's important to get the paper well, up. If, if we have a history with, with the, uh, the town already receiving it, I, yeah, it's a win. Yeah, it's so to do it in kind, it's even better. Well, yeah. and, and the work a year ago to get the 26 acres down on the service line to be signified as a green forest. So we're, you know, we're doing some nice things. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to do anything. You'll, no. keep, you you'll keep, us, keep us advised right. and work with Forever Sunday. Yep. Exactly, and, um, and, and to move forward with it, uh, I will, I can prepare the documents. Uh, you know, once the uh, the actual grant application needs to be submitted, then then we'll have to consider who all is involved, what we're looking at as far as uh, in kind matching, uh, what that looks like. Um, Cindy's an expert at that. Accounting. Okay. Good. Good. So appreciate it much. Yeah, and and I I think it is it, it's an overall benefit because this. Uh, this certainly puts us in a much better position for federal funding if, if and when that becomes available to, to help out to, uh, to offset yeah, sure. any of those costs. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. Thank you. Have a good night. Thanks, you as well. Item number two. Um, the bureaucratic part has been accomplished. Uh, Mr. Griffin has tendered his resignation as the Veterans Service Officer, actually the Veterans Director and Agent. So I'll entertain a motion to accept the resignation of Trudeau. I'll make that motion. I'll um, receive so a letter of appreciation uh, not only to Mr. Griffin, but Mr. Stenberg as well. Yes, very sad. I'm sorry. Veterans Agent. Not the Director. Uh, second, any discussion? Nope. Are none? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Right. number three, entertain a motion to appoint our new Veterans Director, Mr. Lapine. I'll make the motion. Uh, second, any discussion? Yep. Nope. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, we have had approval to plow lane 21 and Lapine Drive from our highway superintendent, so I will entertain a motion to allow the town highway department to plow 
Green 21 and Lieutenant Drive. I'll make that motion. No second. Any discussion? Going on all in favor? Aye. 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 Item number five. <laughs> winner, winner. Uh, through, through our audit of workers' comp, we have received a refund of $53. Cool. Every penny helps. So I want to take a motion to approve and allow the chair to sign said refund audit. I will make that motion. I will second. Any discussion? Any in favor? Aye. Aye. Item number six. There was one other. Uh, we have. Uh, winter sand bids that were opened. Uh, bond construction was the only bid at $12.95 picked up or $15.95 delivered. 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 I will entertain a motion to approve said bid. I'll make that motion. I will second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And you're good with other. We went over that during uh, access. Well, just while we were at other, yeah. it seems how Ms. Chavey's in the room. Do we have an update on the bridge? If he has one, from what I heard, it's not good. Okay, but at least people uh, will know. The bridge on Quaybog Street right now is on a standstill with the state. The state's got the paperwork, and as soon as they approve some, the temporary bridge to be put in, I'll know, and as soon as I know, I'll let you guys know. So, would have called the senator yeah. or representative of this? The district? Uh, we got a call today from the Senator's office here, Ann Goby's office, and we told them that the state's sitting on it right now and we haven't heard anything. Are they going to do anything? They're going to make phone calls and see what's going on, yes. Excellent. So, we also have talked to uh, Donnie Berthium about it too, but we didn't talk to him today about it. We'll take and try to reach out to him tomorrow. I'm not opposed to all fronts. So, oh, no. can you make a phone call to Senator Gobi's office tomorrow, as well as Representative Bertham's office, and uh, yeah. get an advisement through the board of selectmen? Thank you. you know, I guess the, the state wanted a couple of things changed on the temporary setup, on the uh, design or whatever they want to call it, which I don't know why it's a temporary bridge on concrete. So I don't know what they're changing on it. It's it seems silly to me. Bro. It is, and and we've seen some uh, permanent repairs that they're talking about doing on the bridge also. I've seen steel plates go across bridges. And yeah, but uh, this one's too. This one's 52 feet. It's not a 20 foot or a 15 foot. This is 52 feet in span. So. The temporary stuff, that's out there right now, too, as far as I understand that the state's looking at that and trying to get that working also at the same time. There are some anxious drivers. Justifiable. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't want to see it, but, yeah. you know, we're trying to get all our ducks in a row and everything else, and every time we turn around, there's something else that comes up. Yep. Okay, so just make sure you communicate with uh, Cindy, wherever you can. Thanks, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Is there anything else, or everybody all set for tonight? I think we're good. I think we're right. Good. Have a good evening. Yeah, thanks, sir. Correspondence: We've received a letter uh, stating uh, from the governor's office that we have been awarded uh, through it was a DEP, I believe, mm -hmm. DEP state DEP, a uh, twenty-two hundred dollar grant for sustainable material recovery program. I believe um, Mr. Lady's. He's working on. He's going to do paperwork. He's the one they sent it to, right? Uh, yep. Uh, Massachusetts Municipal Association is planning a fall legislative breakfast meeting October 7th, uh, two, September 30th and October 4th, 3, October 7th, 14th and September 30th. I think that's more for us than anybody in the listening audience. Uh, SCM Elder Bus is looking for a representative. Ms. Clancy has not found anybody to volunteer. She has reached out to a couple people. No. <laughs> You jumped like you were going to say something. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, what I will do, though, is it seems how Ms. Clancy and I were chatting not on this subject the other day that I wish I'd known because uh, let me see what I can do. Okay. Any further items before the board this evening? Hearing none, I want to take it. Yes, sir. I just want to take the time to thank you, sir. Chafee for the excellent job he did spreading the grains on the end of the drive. 
Wasn't that beautiful? So now we can get a cloud. There you go. Um, and I believe that was through 148. And with that, um, I, I'd like to thank Palmer Paving for their uh, yeah for their professional work. It's, yeah, it's a great job. And I think they've been professional about it from start to finish. And when you see the uh, the waddles cut open and the loom spread, it's kind of close to completion. Yeah, so, yeah. And great. Them as well. Any other issues before the board? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Yes, sure. Sweet. Well, I'll give you that motion. I will second it. No discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everyone.